four dead in SE Texas from possible carbon monoxide poisoning. Four Southeast Texans died and a child was in serious condition Friday after three separate incidents of carbon monoxide poisoning involving improperly placed generators used following power outages caused by Hurricane Laura. Six people thought to be homeless sought shelter in the Port Arthur Pool Hall, where they initially had a generator outside for power, according to Justice of the Peace Brad Burnett. They later moved the generator inside, causing the death of two Vietnamese men. 53 and 60 years old, and one unidentified person. Three others found alive but critical inside the pool hall were taken to a nearby hospital, Burnett said. Burnett ordered an autopsy on the three dead Port Arthur residents. A generator was found running inside the business, and officers responding to the scene were tested for poisoning due to high levels of carbon monoxide on arrival, according to Burnett. The six individuals allegedly approached the owner of the business to seek shelter before Hurricane Laura made landfall. The owner was not in the business when the storm hit, and was not able to be reached for comment by press time. While early information led investigators to believe the deceased were shrimpers, they later confirmed they were homeless, Burnett said. In a separate incident near 1 a.m. Friday, 17 Mid-County residents were brought to various local hospitals after extreme carbon monoxide exposure of 400 parts per million, Port Neche's assistant fire chief Mark Stegel told the Enterprise. 16 of those suffering exposure were released Friday in stable condition, while one child was flown to Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. Their condition was unknown Friday evening. All 17 were in one residence, Port Neche's fire officials said. In Beaumont, police found 61-year-old Alfonso Devon Williams dead in his N. 7th Street residence Friday. When officers arrived at about 3.51 p.m., they found Williams in an upstairs garage apartment with a generator in the garage below, the department said. An autopsy has been ordered, but his death is believed to have been caused by carbon monoxide poisoning. The exposure and loss of life comes as large amounts of southeast Texas continue to be without electricity. Utility crews continue to work to restore damage caused by Thursday morning's storm. The National Weather Service has put out several alerts regarding the safe operation of generators. Portable backup generators produce carbon monoxide, an odorless, colorless gas that kills without warning. It claims the lives of hundreds of people every year and makes thousands of others ill, a NWS alert said. Tips from the service include never using a generator inside your home or garage, even if doors and windows are open, and only using generators outside more than 20 feet away from your home, doors and windows. An alert from Port Neche's fire chief Paul Nelson went out Friday afternoon warning against using generators inside. Please ensure you are using generators safely, the recorded message said. We have had two incidents in Port Neches in the past 24 hours. Use generators outside, do not use inside your home. Burnett reiterated that, adding that generators can be useful or deadly. They can be your friend, or they can be your enemy, Burnett said. It's something that you don't realize it is happening to you. You can actually just go to go to sleep while it's happening and it's got you. I'd ask everyone, if you're using a generator, please be mindful of this. And if you know someone that's using a generator, please tell them what happened. I think that would save somebody right there. According to media in Louisiana, a family of five in Lake Charles died Friday of carbon monoxide poisoning, claiming the most lives to date in the aftermath of the storm. Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty extended the mandatory evacuation order Friday afternoon until August 31st as all of the city remains without power. If you are somewhere else right now, and I hope that you are, in Port Arthur conditions are still not what you want them to be in terms of having power and having a lot of debris cleaned up and picked up, he said. Therefore, what I'm asking you to do is try to remain where you are if you can.